Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a numerical exponential expression. I'll be presenting three methods, even though there's probably other ways to do it. I just want to show you the three different approaches that I kind of came up with. So we have 60 to the power 40 divided by 30 to the power 20. Now, these are very large numbers, by the way. If you want to know how large they are, um, I can kind of go ahead and show you on rule from alpha so you get a better idea. And then we're going to go with the solutions. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. 60 to the power 40, right? Let's go ahead and write it down. 60 to the power 40. And let's see how large that number is. That must be a giant, giant number. Wolfram Alpha is taking its sweet time. Wolfram Alpha doesn't understand my query. That's kind of it. So we have these two numbers, 60 to the power 40 and 30 to the power 20. So we're going to simplify this first method. So first of all, I can write the 60 to the power 40 as 2 times 30 to the power 40, since 60 can be written as 2 times 30. And we have a nice rule, AB to the power N, AB being a product, can be written as A to the N times B to the N. So I can write this as 2 to the power 40 times 30 to the power 40. And I can just go ahead and plug it into our original expression. Let's go ahead and do that. Replace 60 to the power 40 with 2 to the power 40 times 30 to the power 40 divided by 30 to the power 20. Now I do see the same basis, so it makes sense to combine these two expressions into one. 2 to the power 40 is going to stay, and these two, when divided, you know, the power rule tells us to subtract the exponents, right, in this case. So we're going to get 30 to the power 40 minus 20, which is 20. So we kind of got the result, but how can I write it, like how can I combine these two numbers? Obviously, they don't have the same power, they don't have the same base. But making the same power, equating the powers is a lot easier since 40 is 2 times 20. I'm going to write this as 2 to the second power, to the power 20, multiply by 30 to the power 20. 2 to the second power is 4, so this is 4 to the power 20, multiply by 30 to the power 20. And since they have the same exponent, I can kind of multiply with the ANBN rule, just backwards. This is going to become 120 to the power 20. So what I did there, if I needed to show my work, write it as 4 times 30 and then raise it to the power 20, which becomes 120 to the power 20. I know some people are not going to like this answer because it's not in the simplest form, but let's go ahead and simplify this. 120 can be written as 2 to the third power times 3 to the first times 5 to the first which is the prime factorization. If you raise both sides to the power 20, then you're going to get this product and raise it to the power 20. And then every factor will be raised to the power 20. And then every exponent will be multiplied by 20, in other words. So that's going to be 2 to the power 60, multiply by 3 to the power 20, multiply by 5 to the power 20. And that's going to be the prime factorization of the answer. So it could be, I guess, considered the simplest form. But again, these numbers are very, very large numbers. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully this is the simplest form. Second method. So let's rewrite the original problem. 60 to the power 40 divided by 30 to the power 20. For my second method, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to directly work on the powers 40 and 20. So why not write this as 60 squared to the power 20 divide by 30 to the power 20, so that I can get the same exponent here and here. Make sense? Because if I get something like a to the n divide by b to the n, I can just divide the a and b first and then raise it to the power n. That's such a weird n, by the way. OK. So let's go ahead and do that. So 60 squared is 3,600 to the power 20. And that's divided by 30 to the power 20. And as you know, these can be divided first and then raised to the 20th power. But if you divide 3600 by 30, you're going to get 120. And that's going to be raised to the power 20. And it's going to be the same as before. If you want to write it in uh, prime factor factorization form or prime factorized form, that's what it is. Same thing, right? Pretty much. So that was the second method. We used the 40 and 20 as powers and we directly solved it. With the first method, we broke down the 60 into 
2 and 30 because we wanted to use the basis. So there's def definitely different approaches to these problems. That's why I really like these problems because it allows for several different approaches. Even though the problem itself is fairly simple and calculators can probably do this or it's fairly easy, it still uses good ideas. If you uh, wanted to practice your exponential skills or properties of exponents, this I think would be a good opportunity. Anyways, so here's the third method. So we have 60 to the power 40 divided by 30 to the power 20. Anybody want to guess what the third method would look like? All right, so if you said prime factorization first, you got it right. Good job. Now, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the prime factors first. Of, of course, you can always do that first. Doesn't matter here. But 60 is 2 to the second power times 3 times 5. In other words, uh, 4 times 15 or 4 times 3 times 5. Okay. That is 60, and 30 is going to be half of that, so take away one of the 2s and 2, 3, 5. 30 is kind of nice because it's the product of three distinct prime numbers, and there's probably a name for it. I don't know what it is, but there must be a special name for it. Anyways, so these are my numbers. Let's go ahead and raise them to the powers. So if you raise both sides to the power 40, you're basically raising this product to the power 40, and that is going to be 2 to the power 80, 3 to the power 40, and 5 to the power 40. Let's go ahead and do the 30. 30 to the power 20 is going to be 2 times 3 times 5 to the power 20. And that is going to be 2 to the power 20 times 3 to the power 20 times 5 to the power 20. Now, doing prime factorization on numbers, especially large numbers, is always, almost always a good thing because uh, that will actually break down everything. Kind of like an atomic structure, you know, uh, the prime numbers are the building blocks of numbers and it's always helpful to break down numbers. So, the numerator is 2 to the power 80 multiplied by 3 to the power 40 times 5 to the power 40 divided by 2 to the 20, 3 to the 20, and 5 to the power 20. Awesome. What am I going to do next? Simplify piece by piece. Obviously, we're going to go with the same basis here. This is going to give me 2 to the power 60. If you subtract the exponents, these two guys will give me 3 to the power 20 if you subtract the exponents. And finally, the fives are going to give me 5 to the power 20 because you subtract the exponents. And if you compare this result to the other ones, you're going to notice that, yay, we got the exact same answer. And of course, that should be always the same thing. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.